scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. It will take faith for you to rise from where you are to where God needs to take you. There are great things God has spoken concerning you and me. But ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. It is going to take faith. And in the next five minutes or so, a time is up. It's, it's even morning now. Can you imagine how this vigil works? Just a few minutes. It looks like I just said good morning. And it's already morning truly. But nonetheless, we are going to pray. And you are going to declare and release your faith. Listen to me. It is written will be the basis for all you will do. And then very quickly I'll speak over you and we're done for the morning. Please rise up on your feet. The just shall live by faith. I love, I love, I love your presence. I love, I love, I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your presence. Prayer point number one. Lord, I conquer unbelief from my life. I conquer unbelief from my destiny forever. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You came for a vigil. You came to shout. To shout at the devil. To shout at principalities and powers. And at everything that has held you down. Lift your voice and pray and declare in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Is someone praying? Unbelief dies from my life once and for all. In the name of Jesus, I obtain grace to begin to live by faith. To live by faith means to live by the word of God. To live by faith means to only act in keeping with the principles of the word. Outside, make sure you're praying. Inside, pray. Following from your homes, wherever you're following from, make sure you are praying. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number two. 
you're going to mention every area of your life that must bow to the word of god now not later on now please don't keep quiet and declare the scriptures you know over it if it's your finances if it's your health if it's any demonic oppression don't be silent lift your voice and begin to pray 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 shouts 2021 pray Everything you desire tonight according to scripture. Seven. There is a level, the ankle, another level, your knee, a third level the loins and then a final level an overflowing river and all of these dimensions have possibilities attached just because you are anointed does not mean everything will happen i can tell you this the anointing works like currency what you are holding determines how far you can go don't be here and waste this opportunity whether it is in politics whether it is in government whether it is in business ministry at any level there is room now god is giving us to rise higher even in heaven he said come up hither there is still room for a higher dimension of power and of grace and then finally i want to speak and declare over your life the prophetic is powerful when it is administered within the boundary of scripture it can work wonders prophecy does not just reveal prophecy creates it makes to happen what has no business happening so do not be surprised that by the morning Saul who left his father as a timid person suddenly returns back as a prophet are we together I believe in the power of God I truly believe let me start with the impartation I'll start with the impartation and then I'll pray for the sick. What is an impartation? An impartation is a system of transferring spiritual possibilities. Impartation is not just about falling under the anointing. It is not just about anointing. Possibilities are birthed by the graces that rest upon us. And the Bible tells us that this grace can multiply in levels. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth the Bible declares with the Holy Ghost and with power it says he went about doing good listen to me it takes a measure of the anointing to do good you have been doing good but you need to do good at a higher level are we together so I will start with the impartation I'm going to pray many of you have come some of you are men and women of God some of you are business people. Some of you have prayed for a higher dimension of grace. The Bible says they go from strength to strength as many as appear before the Lord in Zion. So when I pray for you, then I'll pray for the sick. And then I'll just speak over everyone here and over the territory. And we're done for the morning. My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil I want to pray for you when I stood up here and I was to pray I, I, I thought I would just do it privately but the Lord is putting it strong upon my heart I saw a dove and that dove was resting upon you can I pray for you I just kept quiet I thought we may meet in the office there but I just saw it again 
I want to pray for you because the, the Lord is about to shift your music ministry to a very strange dimension. Come. You will step into a level of grace that will shift you beyond your imagination. I stretch my hands and I declare right now, may that fire and that grace right now, peg that grace in the name of Jesus, you will never be the same by the power of the Holy Spirit. Based on what I saw, there is an anointing that has come upon your life and I'm declaring it now. Let a thousand cubits be measured for your ministry. New level in the spirit, new exploits to the nations. They will hear your voice in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please bring for me there. There are three people, particularly a structure for the prophetic. For one of you, it's not the first time it's coming. It's a restoration. And two of you, I know there are many people I'm going to pray, but we have to rush. Just three people right now. The power of God is coming on them. Three of them. Please let me have them out here. Let's hurry up so that we save time. While you are bringing them out, let me pray for everybody now. I decree and declare every spiritual dimension that is needed for your destiny there are men of God here let me start particularly with those who are in ministry or called into any kind of ministry please just bring them let's hurry up in the name of Jesus Christ at the count of three I declare my God I'm just in fire moving inside and outside Lord separate those men and women right now may they drink of this wine that shifts them to a new level take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now inside outside please bring them out i decree and declare supernatural grace you will never be the same right now god is opening your eyes please whether you are an usher or not just help them Sing for me, Dave. Bring them out. New wine. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah i want to pray i'm seeing women i prayed this same thing in a meeting somewhere and i'm seeing that same grace there is, i don't know what god is doing with women in this season but i'm seeing that there are prophetic women ladies here that are stepping into dimensions with the spirit bring them out i stretch my hands now upon every daughter of abraham upon every woman in the spirit whether it's the prophetic whether it's in, in ministry, I declare, take that grace now. Take that. New season. Help this woman, please. My God. You will never be the same. You've touched this grace. Your life is changed. You will. of grace in the name the of same. Jesus Christ you touched his grace your life is changed I want to pray for the healing anointing there are some of you whether in the music ministry or in ministry God has been speaking to you and in this season he wants to release help help her please hold them women men together that mantle is coming on someone right now Father, at the count of three, there is someone apakatoshkada, inside and outside. You have been operating in a measure, but God wants to push you deeper. Wherever you are, take that grace now. 
take that anointing from the front to the back that fire that fire that healing fire in the name of Jesus Christ bring them out mighty healing grace coming upon you coming upon your ministry receive it in the name of Jesus make sure you don't keep quiet receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah my goodness our time I have to walk with time who is Victoria Victoria who is Victoria you are coming from the back this row this is what I see in my vision I know there's a lady but there's another one coming you plated your hair up like this I want to pray for you where are you coming from huh the back I want to pray for you the power of God is coming on two of you two of you right now as I'm speaking a strong anointing is coming on two of you and then I pray for the rest take that grace now two of you strong anointing help them please right now in the name of Jesus Christ drink of that wine you will never be the same Victoria I decree and declare for you and for your family members in the name of Jesus Christ my dear look at me I decree and declare that oppression is ending right now from your life I'm seeing something being taken out of your body I declare be free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit be free right now in the name of Jesus Christ Jonathan who is Jonathan Jonathan is there someone carrying that name I'm hearing Jonathan you are wearing white like a white um, white I don't know if it's a dress or a shirt or a jacket white Jonathan is there someone like that what's your name well okay Jonathan. can I pray for you yes, sir. father in the name of Jesus let everything that represents oppression live the life of this man and his family right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is somebody here even though it's just two years but you came here and your only prayer point is the fruit of the womb two years where is that person I want to pray for you quickly quickly fruit of the womb that's what that's what brought you here in fact I think it's like husband and wife I'm sick that's your wife come I will still pray for you don't worry I'll pray for you we have to hurry up I apologize it's, it's already can you imagine that it's morning already I want you to believe in miracles miracles do happen in the name of Jesus Christ I will just please um, madams just just make contact with yours your stomach let me just pray for you very quickly in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming on one of you and when that happens one of the women now the moment it happens the healing power of Jesus will flow to all of you this is the instruction God is giving me one of you standing here there is a mighty anointing that is coming right now on one of you this is what God is, is telling me the moment that happens the healing power of Jesus will just flow and I speak over you I decree and declare right now on that one person whoever in Jesus name may that grace rest upon you right now in the name of Jesus like the power of God will really really come on you that's the instruction that I'm receiving from the Spirit and the moment that happens where is your husband this lady okay this is your husband I'm not just praying for the fruit of the womb the Lord is increasing you financially you see I'm seeing God bringing increase for you in this area okay let me pray for you now all of them fruit of the womb please don't come out if I don't mention your case so that will save time in the name of Jesus Christ father you have given us the power to heal and to deliver 
in the name of Jesus according to the time of life I decree and declare return with miracle children I open up your wombs now I don't care what the medical report is in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God help her in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let your womb be open now every medical concern we correct it now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know why I'm seeing light on two of you this man you and your wife I just saw light coming on two of you in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for everybody but I release don't you don't have to come just I stretch my hands and I declare may that light rest on you and your wife right now take that grace in the name of Jesus please help them I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit return with supernatural children for all of you here let it be done for you now you will return by this time next year you will not return alone you will return with your children in Jesus name I pray God bless you please return back to your seat rejoicing now please lay your hand anywhere you are trusting God for a miracle very quickly I'll pray for those in front here but lay your hands anywhere inside outside I believe in miracles God is a miracle worker God is a glorious God God is I know you as a miracle worker God is a glorious God Sadly, I'm not sure we may have the time to take testimonies what, what will happen is as I pray for you on Sunday you can do well to come to Church House on the Rock on Sunday and then you register your testimonies we may not have time to take the testimonies it's already morning but I want you to believe in miracles. I want to pray. No matter what it is, release your faith right now. Now, there are two people who will shout under the anointing. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. Two people, particularly two ladies. Right now, as I'm praying, the moment that happens, I'm going to pray. This is the instruction the Holy Spirit is giving me. Again, I'll always say it sometimes. I really don't know why these things happen but it's a ministry of signs and wonders and um, we just give him the glory knowing that he's the one who is at work right now there are two people the power of God is a strong anointing a loud shout to the hearing of everybody the moment that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move but you lay your hands right now in the name of Jesus my God I sense such a strong anointing two loud shouts by the Spirit of God now I'm ready to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, shout a believing amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now I decree and declare. Every devil behind any and every infirmity here. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I declare be gone now be gone now now I declare healing from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name all kinds of head related conditions be healed now in Jesus name bone conditions be healed in Jesus name whether you are on a stretcher you are on a crutch you're on a wheelchair be healed now in the name of Jesus every blood related condition I curse it right now in the name of Jesus everyone here with an eye condition whether total blindness partial blindness I declare perfect vision for you now I declare perfect hearing for you now every growth help them please every growth in any part of your body 
your abdominal region lump around the breast area neck area whatever area in jesus name i command that lump to disappear now help them my god i'm seeing the power of god touching someone i'm still praying there's someone you have a problem with your neck let there be a miracle right now mm. my god you are who you are yesterday today and forevermore what you say i'm still praying that song just came to my spirit someone i don't know what has happened to your voice i don't know if it's your voice box you can't speak loud right now the power of god is touching you right where you are in the name of jesus christ there is an issue of blood in this place what the bible calls the issue of blood in the name of jesus i rebuke it now i rebuke it now I rebuke it now there's someone I'm seeing you on your bed and you're having dreams every time you go to sleep your encounter is with dead people dead people just visiting you and disrupting your sleep right now I decree and declare may you never have that demonic experience again whatever the sickness is whatever the infirmity is in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god be healed now 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 there's someone who has i'm seeing a swelling just around um the lower abdominal area around the lap area here you know um in the name of Jesus, it looks like a lymph node or something there. In Jesus' name, let there be a miracle for you now. Anyone here appointed to death, in the name that is above all names, we command death to let you go now. Whatever the medical condition is, and no matter how long it has been and has stayed in your life help those under the anointing in the name of jesus let there be a miracle now yeah. and if our god is for us then what could ever stop us and if our god is with us then what can stand us? and if our god is for us And if our God is with us, then one can stand again. Receive every prophetic word I'm about to declare over your life. Here at Shout 2021. Prophetic words are powerful. They are declarations of the word of God. And because they are consistent with the character of the Christ, they walk help those who will begin to run now this thing always happens when i come it's a grace for speed i'm not even praying it god is just giving me people will start running now just hold them just please just be at a lot right now as i'm speaking it's a grace for speed it's coming on people right now inside outside you'll find people begin to run by the spirit just hold them so they don't injure themselves hmm. this god is a wonder walking god Please help them so they don't enjoy themselves. The Lord is bringing an end to delay. Speed. He's bringing speed to the lives of people. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. One year in one month. I release that grace upon you speed in ministry speed in business speed in career speed in your pursuit in the name of Jesus Christ 
that between now and the end of the year God will use you to achieve things that have not been done in five years in the name of Jesus Christ now I decree and declare over your life please hear me every door that has been closed hitherto by the God of heaven and in the name that is above all names I speak over that door let that door be open now shout a loud amen everyone anointed by God to be a destiny helper to you in this season destiny helpers are people anointed to hold your hands and give you visibility in the name that is above all names as you leave this conference may you contact them hear me whatever represents shame and reproach by the god of heaven i decree and declare joining my faith with every servant of god in this place i decree and declare over you it comes to an end now everything in your life that has refused to grow is violating the law of life therefore i declare everything whether it is your vision whether it is your destiny your church your finances once it is alive it should grow therefore i declare it grows now it grows now it grows now whatever has stopped you from rejoicing and celebrating because the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tents of the righteous if it is true that you are the righteous of the lord and yet the shouts of joy and victory has departed i declare may god give you strange testimonies that restore that shout strange testimonies that restore that shout in the name of jesus christ let me pray for anyone here who is struggling in any area of life particularly in the area of finances in the name that is above all names there is a prophetic dimension to wealth I decree and declare may the God who is El Shaddai may the God who is Jireh I declare may grace be placed upon your life that attracts resources to you in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for your spiritual life I am passionate about people loving the Lord seeking him truly and conforming to the fullness of the image and the character of the christ it is my singular understanding and opinion that in all you're getting if your spiritual life remains stunted and by spiritual life i measure it with the indices of number one conformity to the image and the character of the christ in experience number two your depth of comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom number three the outworking of the supernatural power of the holy spirit in your life number four the law of love the abundance of the love of jesus if these four indices are not rich in your life you are not growing therefore i decree and declare the grace that can help men to grow in knowledge and to grow in godliness may that grace rest upon you i declare a multiplication of passion for the priesthood ministry of prayer in the name of jesus christ i decree a multiplication of passion for the word receive that grace in the name of jesus those outside i hope you're receiving I decree and declare a multiplication of passion for the house of God let it come upon you now and I pray for every church every business every organization every platform here represented in the name that is above all names the strength to move to the next level may that grace come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for all who have participated in making shout 2021 a success I decree and declare may the God of all flesh who is called the rewarder 
of them that diligently seek him may he show up for you in strategic ways and particularly for members of house on the rock the global family and then house on the rock here in mina i decree and declare for you being that 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 donkey that jesus has ridden on to bless people to transform people i declare may your reward not go far from you it will come to you and even overtake you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the final thing i'm going to do here in the next one minute is an altar call now everyone listen it's already morning and i want everyone to stand please let me request except if you have to please stand for those outside and those inside the bible declares that ye must be born again the rich man came to jesus and asked a question and said good master what must i do to be born again moments like these are moments of transformation and encounter the greatest of them being an encounter with jesus there are people here in the main auditorium across the balcony and i believe multiples of people who are outside who are yet to make this declaration sincerely and you're saying apostle do not end your session without giving me an opportunity to come to jesus others are saying apostle i love jesus but for some reason my life has gone haywire and it's not the way it should be whether you are outside or inside for the purpose of this if it's possible I will allow you to come in except inside is full then we'll have another place outside i'm going to count one to five there are people here jesus is speaking to you whether you are part of the organizing team or you are an invitee who has come from wherever you know that jesus is calling you he wants to give you an opportunity as i count one to five i like you to run don't just walk run and come and stand here before jesus i'm beginning my counting now run jesus is calling you one god bless you celebrate them as they come run to jesus run to jesus run to jesus run to jesus come on me now you celebrating salvation Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way three please if you're coming rush 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 run like there's fire on the mountain come and stand before jesus and for all of us please make sure you are praying pray in one minute we're wrapping up already pray for all these ones who are coming don't sit back there if you know that the lord is calling you he's giving you a new beginning this is the greatest mir miracle literally happening here right now come to jesus he's giving you a new beginning Someday, listen, ladies and gentlemen, someday, whether we like it or not, as they come very quickly, this life will be over in as much as we know it. And we're going to transit from this realm. Some will be on their way to hell because of their ignoring Jesus. And then others will be with the lord it is my desire and i encourage every preacher here that in all your doing please do not ignore the necessity for salvation someday these people will see us in heaven and they will thank god that we call them they will come to us and we will see them i am a life that was changed thank you for giving to the lord i am so glad you came 
please lift your right hand all of you some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears you're before jesus hallelujah lift your hands i want you to say this after me let it be from the depth of your heart and mean it as you say it say lord jesus say it again say lord jesus this morning i have heard your word i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe in you that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i declare according to the authority of scripture that you are my savior you are my lord you are my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i am a child of god a recipient of eternal life from today i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name keep your hands lifted father we thank you for these precious ones thank you for the harvest of souls coming to you and lord i declare by the authority of scripture that their sins are hereby forgiven and i declare by the authority of scripture that indeed they are recipients of the life of god i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded and may you be established in righteousness the lord bless you and keep you in jesus name celebrate jesus for them now please look at me all of you i want all of you to move in concert to my left which is your right there will be a group of officials waving their hands to receive you let's celebrate them as they go all of you just move this way and there will be a group of people to receive you please celebrate them as they go celebrate them as they go celebrate them as they go don't be tired keep clapping they are still going keep clapping keep clapping they are still going hallelujah praise the name of the lord finally let me declare the blessings of the lord thank you so much for this opportunity pastor pete rock thank you house on the rock mina thank you mina thank you for always receiving of that which god has put upon our lives i decree and declare that it will be for you as a church as a state as individuals it will be for you from glory to glory and from grace to grace in jesus name i pray hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you